everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do this really fun and cool manicure for Halloween. Um, it is a Black Widow spider manicure. Here you can see the Black Widow with the red marking on the back. And the rest of the nails are just cobwebs on a gray background. A little bit of shimmer kind of make it look a bit more mystical or something. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's really fun for Halloween, so if you want to see how to do it, then just stay tuned. So I started off with a basic gray manicure. You can use any kind of gray color for this. I'm going to list the exact products below this video. And then I'm going to apply a sort of a shimmery top coat. This doesn't really have much color. This is just going to give a little bit of a shimmer to the nails. And I just apply that over the entire manicure. And then I'm using a white tip painter polish and I'm going to do the cobwebs. So you don't, you want to make sure that you don't have too much product on the brush so that you don't get globs all over them. So here I'm doing first the main lines of the cobwebs. And this is also going to depend on how large your nail bed is. Don't put them on too close together. And once you've done that, you can start putting in the smaller lines, which is going to make that actual cobweb look. Now this, this nail I didn't do perfectly, so I think it's just you know a matter of taking your time with it and not getting too much polish onto the brush so that you don't get globs or anything like that. And yeah, I just want to make a really kind of intricate design between the four main strands that you applied, and that's going to make it really look like a cobweb. So I've done that on all the nails except for one. So it just, yeah, you can choose whatever nail you want to have your spider on. And I'm just using a basic black nail polish color and I'm going to first of all draw the body of the Black Widow spider. And I'm using um, a nail art brush for this just so that the application is quite precise. It might also help if, t if you look at a picture of a Black Widow so that you can see what the actual spider looks like. And I'm using a dotting tool now just to sort of put in the eyes and this is sort of like the head part of the spider. So that's just going to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I'm using a very fine nail art brush to do the legs. And I actually looked at a picture online of what these spiders look like so that you can see how the um, how the legs are placed. So they've got these kind of two very um, thin legs that go up very high and then these sort of shorter hind legs. So I'm drawing in the hind legs right now. And this is going to be easier if you do it on yourself. I mean I had to kind of put my hand at a very strange angle so that it's going to show up on the camera. But um, you know if you take your time with this and if you use like a nice thin brush then it, it shouldn't pose too big of a problem. So here I'm putting in now the third pair of legs and these are a little bit shorter than the main front legs and this looks yeah a little bit wonky but <laughs> I actually did a practice run before and it looked better I think it's just hard for me to do this on camera and then you can go ahead and fix any little you know mistakes to kind of make it look a bit more realistic so then you want to let that dry a bit and then once the black has dried you want to apply the red marking. I think on the spider it's actually on the belly, I'm not sure, but um, this will definitely you know, give the illusion of the Black Widow. And the design is kind of like two triangles that are facing each other so I kind of tried to replicate that. And then once your design has dried, you want to follow it up with a top coat. I'm using Seshvit for this. And you definitely want to give it a bit of time to dry before you do this, just so you don't smear your design all together. And there you go. That's the finished design of the Black Widow and Cobweb nail art. So I hope you enjoyed it. And definitely check out more nail tutorials if you like this one. I'm going to have a playlist linked at the end. And happy Halloween. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.